Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin and today we're looking at the Sega Design Mechanical Watch. Now, this is the Series X Gorilla. They offer this in a few different colorways, uh, black and some other colors. Uh, this one is the Titanium Blue. So as the name suggests, it is made of titanium and also stainless steel. The price for this watch is $400. $49 and it has the X form skeleton movement. Hopefully, you can see that in there. And uh, it's a sapphire crystal on both front and back. So, a very unique looking watch, probably the most unique looking watch I've had on the channel here. I have worn this a bit. It actually has worn more comfortable than I thought it would. It's still uh, not exactly my styling of watch, but. Uh, you know, for the price, I don't think I can uh, fault it too much. So it has the four corner suspension system. In the case is a mixture of 316L stainless steel and titanium. Not entirely sure which is which here, but uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Not the easiest watch to tell time on, but um, there's actually kind of a, a way you can tell time. So let's see if I can point with something here. Use pencil light, I don't think that will damage the watch, right? So uh, right here, this triangle is 12 o'clock. And then this corner here would be one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, what did I do? Yeah, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Sorry, my uh, counting was a little off there, but that's how you can tell time with this watch. Uh, even with that, it's still not the easiest to tell time with, but I guess it's better than nothing. And I believe there's uh, a trick here with the loom. I have not looked at the loom yet. We'll check out the loom towards the end of the video, but very cool looking watch. And then you can see here, see good design. So the company itself was founded in 2016 and they actually won the GPHG uh, prize for the, um, it's called the Blue Planet Watch, I think. Uh, it's, there's seven different uh, series of watches that they have. I'll leave a link in the description to their website. Go check them out. So yeah, very cool. Also, this has another trick up its sleeve. It has a suspension system within the watch. Um, let's see if I push on the case back here. Hopefully you can see that inner case kind of moved up there. The springs actually work better in the other direction, which doesn't make as much sense to me. The Formex um, Essence has a suspension system, but it pushes out uh, with your wrist on the back when you tighten it down. This one does go out a little bit, but really it pushes down more than out. Hopefully you can see that there. You can see the spring there in the corner. So all four corners have this kind of a spring system, so it's pretty neat. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can kind of hear the springs. Just tapping on the front of it here, in the back. So yeah, so the crown is uh, basically kind of floating between this outer case and inner case. So it needs to have a groove in here to allow this case to move around the crown. It's just a push-pull movement. And it's rated to 30 meters of water resistance. All right, let's zoom back out here. So it does come with this, they call it a silica gel strap. I've also seen it called a silicone strap. And then it comes with this nylon strap. I've worn it mostly on this strap here. I've only worn it on this strap here. Let me take a quick look at the nylon strap. I like this buckle, it's kind of neat. Uh, this portion here is just a round cylinder. I've not seen that on another watch before. Normally they're uh, flattened, but same thing on this silicone strap here. It doesn't feel like silicone, it feels a little bit different. Mixture of brushed and polished surfaces and you have these blue highlights in the crown and also it is a signed crown. And then some of the other ones have a gorilla engraved in here because it's the Series X Gorilla. 
and these are quick release straps. You can almost wear this with the, the movement facing out if you really wanted, you know, upside down, I guess. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, let's talk about the dimensions. So lug to lug, 48.2 millimeter. The case, not really diameter, but we'll call it the case diameter, measured to this crown guard here. I measured it at 45.2. Thickness is 11.9. And the lug width is 22, not 24, like I stated in my unboxing. It just felt like it's wider than what it is. I'm not sure why, maybe due to the case shape, I don't really know, but it's 22 millimeter lug width. 8 millimeter crown, that's uh, quite a large crown there. And it weighs 75 grams on this silicone strap. And again, 30 meters of water resistance. So the movement is an independently developed X series movement. It's called the CD01 movement. Um, I was told that it's a Seagull movement, which would make sense. I couldn't really find any specs on this movement, but um, the watch is made in China, so I would assume that it's a custom Seagull movement. Yeah, it's a very cool watch. Then that uh, Blue Planet watch they have is very cool looking too. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the video description to their website. Go check out their other watches. Very cool looking watch. Okay, let me get this on a wrist and then we'll check out the loom. Maybe I'll throw it on these. I'll throw on these straps real quick. Um, yeah, so I've been wearing the uh, Submariner. So here's a comparison of this to a uh, normal size dive watch. Or normal size watch, I should say. Should say. It's such a weird shape. I mean, I've not, not worn a square watch like this before. And there it is next to the SKX. Maybe I'll compare these two in the loom comparison. All right, let's get this on wrist here. So there we go. I guess it kind of looks like a Apple Watch maybe or a smart watch. It's not uh, very easy for me to tell the time with. Which is a pretty important thing for a watch telling time. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. It helps uh, me get some more watches in for uh, content here, share them with you guys. Also, I get to experience them as well. So that's a nice thing. And the buckle is signed here. Um, it's a good design. Okay, let's pause the video. Oh, you know what? I, I forgot. I want to put on this other strap. So let's do that real quick. And then we'll check out the loom. I did see a picture of the loom on the website. Normally I don't, uh, I try not to look at the loom before the video. Okay, maybe I won't put it on this strap. Okay, one more time and then we'll pause the video. There we go. So there's a look at it on the nylon strap. I prefer this strap, kind of looks a little more uh, interesting and goes with the, the look of this watch. But yeah, I guess this would work as well. So there we go. Let's uh, pause the video and we'll check out the loom. And here's a look at the loom. The Sega Designs watch looked a lot more impressive online with the loom. You could really see the X pattern here. I really can't even see it by eye. I can see it on the camera here a little bit, but um, yeah, a little bit disappointed by the loom here as compared to what I saw online. 
And of course the SKX009 is nice and bright here on the right. Let's hit it with the blue light one more time here. And there it is. So that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for taking the time and thank you for watching.